There is a long-standing notion among many Freemasons that Freemasonry is an all-male fraternity, with women's only role confined to serving roast beef suppers at Masonic functions or helping support fraternal charities. That image is false. Female and mixed lodges founded more than a century ago exist and thrive today. Women have been Freemasons throughout the modern period of the craft, and they were active in the medieval Masonic guilds from which Freemasonry descended. Haunted Chambers, The Lives of Early Women Freemasons, by author and Freemason Karen Kidd, challenges Freemasonry's erroneous notion of an all-male craft by pointing to the obvious, that there are now and have long been women Freemasons. Haunted Chambers provides the history of women Freemasons and detailed biographies of some of these women. Haunted Chambers builds on the pioneering work of respected 19th century Masonic historian William James Hewan and provides not only the most complete list of women Freemasons ever compiled, but also a wealth of detail about their lives. Haunted Chambers will introduce you to Ganilda the Mason, a female operative mason of the mid-13th century, Elizabeth St. Ledger Aldworth, initiated into her father's lodge in County Cork in Ireland before the founding of the modern Freemasonry Grand Lodges, Mary Ann Belding Spruill, an early New Brunswick settler initiated into her husband's lodge in the early 19th century, Sidney Owenson, Lady Morgan, the early 19th century Irish novelist who was initiated into a French Lodge of Adoption in January 1819. Catherine Sweet Babington, a teenager initiated into an East Kentucky Lodge during the height of the anti-Masonic period. Vinnie Reem Hoxie, the famed sculptress of Abraham Lincoln's statue in the Capitol Rotunda, who was initiated into the adoptive rites of Albert Pike in the late 19th century. Salome Anderson, late 19th century wealthy matron of Oakland, California, outed as a Freemason by a respected Masonic publication six years before her death in 1898. These women and the others you will meet in Haunted Chambers paved the way for the female Masons of today who thrive in female-only and mixed lodges. Because of these women of the past, women can and do become Freemasons without eavesdropping, sneaking into lodges, or hiding in furniture. Haunted Chambers is a controversial book, particularly among those who see no place for women on the checkered side of the lodge room door. But whatever side of the argument you stand on, Haunted Chambers is a book for anyone who wants to know the truth about these early women Freemasons and isn't afraid to read it.